You're right guys, it's Capgun Tom here and I am back for another FIFA News Flash and today we are going to be looking at Team of the Week, however we are first going to look at an update on the Ultimate Team hacking scandal. The Ultimate Team servers are now back up and EA have released this press statement. Ultimate Team is back up and running. Earlier this week a very small number of users attempted to gain an unfair advantage by manipulating coins. To ensure a fair economy for all our users, we decided to take FUT offline in order to restore a level playing field. We take issues like this very seriously. Permanent bans for FIFA 13 have been served to all users attempted to gain an unfair advantage. We would like to thank you, the community, for your patience during this downtime. Okay, so what they're saying here, the obviously, online servers back up. People who have basically manipulated this directly have been given bans. And uh, from talking to actual people who sort of like were awarded coins, uh, sort of like not through their own fault, but just because they had cards up on the market that went for 15 million coins, they've actually been had their accounts frozen. Now, you might be wondering what the heck is freezing, but I've got some footage here sent in by a viewer. Um, he wanted to remain um, anonymous, so I won't say his name. But um, you can see that he tries to log into Ultimate Team and basically gets the message saying that he cannot he has not however been reset because all of his stuff is still there all his level and everything so uh, his account is still there it's just his ultimate team has been uh, frozen now the reason we believe this has happened is because um, they wanted to get the ultimate team servers back up as, pro as quickly as possible but they couldn't investigate all the issues that have you know cropped up of people getting coins unfairly um, thoroughly so what they've done is they've just frozen all the people's accounts who probably got I don't know over a million coins in that you know 24 hour period and just frozen them so that they can investigate each case individually and then take coins away where coins need to be taken away so um, obviously if you've been given coins and your account is frozen um, there isn't much you can do you've just got to wait until ultimate t uh, oh, you know EA uh, release your account back into the wild and you can use it again but until then you're just going to have to wait uh, for those of you who got banned GG um, you probably deserved it anyway if you didn't I would say contact EA's uh, helplines and ask why they have banned you and uh, for everyone else you can get back on the ultimate team servers so that's pretty cool there are a few 15 million coin bids still flying around on the ultimate team market but they are being mopped up uh, EA is fixing all of those problems at the moment so don't worry about those they will eventually be gone so let's have a look at this team of the week. We have Jermaine Defoe, 85 pace and 86 shooting. Some good stats there. Gomez from Leon, 77 pace, 83 shooting, 62 passing, 74 dribbling and 81 heading. We have Michu who's absolutely crushing it at Swansea. No surprise to see him get a team of the week card and... Uh, Really, really good player there. Last year, he went all the way from a bronze card, getting multiple informs all the way up until the team of the season card, which he was gold. So, um, pretty decent player there. We have Witzel from Zenit. 72 pace, 80 shooting, 82 passing, 86 dribbling, 75 defending and 78 heading. So, some very, very strong stats there. Definitely recommend him for your Belgian or your Russian league teams. We have Ortonovic, uh, 81 pace, 82 shooting, 84 dribbling and 73 heading. Then we have in the midfield positions, we have Marquisio, 81 pace, 79 shooting, 83 passing, 85 dribbling, 77 defending and 73 heading. So another player with great all-round stats. Joey Barton, bit of a troll card, I have to admit, maybe it's for him trying to uh, do speak in a French accent, I don't know. 70 pace, 71 shooting, 82 passing, 75 dribbling and 75 defending. Moving on to the defence, we have Aga, 69 pace, 68 shooting, 71 passing, 63 dribbling, 84 heading and 82 def 82. 82 heading and 84 defending is what I meant to say there. Uh, probably will be one of the more expensive players in Team of the Week just because he plays for BPL and there aren't all that many good centre-backs. We have Lopo as well, um, half decent. I'm not uh, not really too fussed about him. I mean, he has 80 defending and 85 heading, but 56 pace coupled with that is really going to hold him back. We have Stranzel, another centre-back position here. 60 pace again, going to really hold him back. 60, 82 defending and 80, 76 uh, heading there. We have a decent goalkeeper though, Weidenfeller uh, from Dortmund, 87 div diving, 82 handling, 88 reflexes and 86 positioning, so some very decent things, although his kicking is quite bad, so you won't be able to kick it far up the pitch and run onto it. 
Our bench is looking half decent this week as well. We have um, Saucedo. I think that he is going to go for an absolute bomb. Silver Mexican teams are very much in demand at the moment. Very popular. Some very good silver Mexican players. And he will now probably be the best silver Mexican goalkeeper. So he will be very sought after. So if you can pick one of him up, you will definitely be in for some coins there. So uh, we also have Gonzalez who plays for LA Galaxy. Um, centre back position, uh, half decent. I mean, 78 defence and defence and 78 heading. We also have Mycon as well, 71 pace, 76 shooting, 78 passing, 76 dribbling, 64 defending and 65 heading. Um, obviously plays for Sao Paulo. And in history, um, you know, silver Brazilian players or Brazilvers always go for a lot of money when they're in form. So it may be worth it, but um, obviously he's not all that good. So maybe not. We have Ala, um, looks half decent. I mean, 878 pace, 73 dribbling, 75 shooting, 66 heading and... Uh, so not too bad of stats there. We have uh, Susi, uh, who is an Italian striker from, I think it is Serie A, although it might be Serie B, I can't actually check at the moment. 71 pace, 69 dribbling, 78 shooting and 75 heading, so half decent stats there. We have Vossen, who is Belgium striker from Belgium, uh, plays for Genk, so uh, half decent uh, all-round stats as well on him. And Paloski as well. So, um, guys, uh, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope it's been informative. Please drop it a like if you have, if you could. That would be really amazing. Uh, follow me on Twitter because I do like to update you all. And I have been doing that for the last two days. I mean, if anything develops on these stories, I will be able to update you through there. So, um, as I said, I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you all next time.